Hi, this is Charlie, and today we're going to take the electric VX220 for a short drive. We uh, press the button here to power up the high voltage, and then off we go. So before we go, actually, the uh, just worth mentioning, this noise, the loudest part of this car by far, is the brake booster. So we've got a vacuum pump that powers the brake booster, which is quite loud. It'd be nice to replace it with an eye booster at some point, but for now it works very well. So normal, um, normal manual driving procedure really, into drive, handbrake off, and off we go. No clutch, but um, I still like having the manual handbrake. So we're just going to do a lap really, um, show off some of the nice roads around here and uh, see how the car drives. It looks like I'm stuck struggling with the steering. There's no power steering in this car. So um, when we're at a junction or standing still, it's a bit of a hassle turning the wheel, but it really doesn't need it once you get going. And here we go. So we don't really have very much regen um, going on in this car. Tesla drive unit is perfectly capable of doing strong regen and single pedal driving, but my preference really uh, is to have normal engine braking. Um, and I have a bit of regen on the brake pedal. So if I touch the brake pedal, I only have to just very lightly touch it and that will activate a stronger regen. So it's a bit more like driving a normal automatic car. Um, so rather than having the nice single pedal driving, a lot of people do like the electric. I think it being a sports car, I prefer the more the more traditional coasting. So I have no idea whether the camera kind of gives any real idea of sense of speed, but but the 0 to 60 of this at the moment is set at about seven seconds. Uh, so we've got. You know, quite a fast car, not something that's going to snap your neck at the moment. And uh, we're just cruising around about 40 at the moment. I don't know if you can see the speed gauge very clearly. Hopefully you can. Um, and then I'll show a little bit of the acceleration when we get out onto a, a straighter road. But for now, just, uh, just enjoying some of these bends and things.
across. It's about uh, five miles all the way around, so it's um, and it's got some ups and hills and some downhills and some straights. So it's quite a nice, nice place to test the car and quite a nice place to drive overall, really. So uphill, an uphill challenge. Hopefully, we can pass this guy in a moment. we're just going to put the car on charge we want the car fully charged at the moment so that it can balance all the cells there are a few cells in the battery pack that aren't uh, fully balanced uh, it means they're not quite at the same voltage as all the others so we want to keep it charged just so that it can balance out the pack so we've got our granny charger that's a, just a 10 amp uh, a 10 amp charger that goes into our mains at home we switch on the charger And no surprises here. We're going to plug the charger in, and as we plug the charger into the car, we should hear the pump power up, uh, which is there just to cool the charger. Not sure if you can hear that, but under there, there's the coolant tank, and there's the pump, and we use the same pump for everything. So that's the same pump that pumps around the circuit. It does the charger, it does the uh, inverter, it does the motor, um, and the DC to DC converter, which is also in the charger. So that just keeps everything cool in a single loop. And that's it, that's charging as easy as just plugging in.